Okay, so we get this question a lot uh, when it comes to the the solution space for QDay. Um, you know, what what is a better solution? And um, in some ways, it's a fair question, and in other ways, it's it's not a fair uh, comparison. So, I I like to use this um, this analogy of, you know, what's a better fruit? Uh, is it apples, oranges, or, or pears? Um, it is an objective question to to some degree, but it is also very subjective. Um, so there are certain things that you know PQC is good at that QKD is not good at, and vice versa. So um, it's a healthy question to ask, but let, let's dive deeper into it. So as I mentioned, there are um, you know certain things that uh, these technologies can provide uh, in a crypto system that the other solutions cannot provide. And so what, what are those you know prime differentiating factors between the three? So first in PQC, you know this is a purely classical technology. There's no no quantum um, communication or, or signals involved. Um, these can be implemented on on regular chips, um, and so that allows us, uh, you know, to have much easier integration into legacy systems. Um, these new lattice-based math problems are posed to be um, pretty secure and well studied, um, and you know we're able to retain a lot of the. Uh, cryptographic notions and, and primitives that we're used to. So things like digital signatures and certificates and trusted authorities. These are things that PQC can can provide um, into your crypto system that QKD and advanced secure networking may, may not. Um, but, you know, on, on, on the other side, you know, these quantum based solutions can provide things that PQC can never provide. Um, so with QKD and um, entanglement based um, solutions, we have this notion of what's called information theoretic security. And this is a really, really uh, valuable um, you know, property of these protocols um, where, you know, regardless of computational resources, the, the protocols stay secure. Um, so that means over time, doesn't matter how big your quantum computer is, your supercomputer, you can have access to all the compute in the world. If you throw it at, uh, you know, trying to crack these, these protocols, they will stay resilient. Um, another kind of critical um, differentiating factor of um, QKD and advanced secure networking is that you have this notion of eavesdropper detection. So we can actually use quantum signals to detect the presence of any kind of man in the middle attack. So if there's an eavesdropper trying to, uh, you know, say, gain information about the, the key during the establishment phase, um, that eavesdropper will be, um, you know, almost immediately detected. Um, because the, the mere presence of an eavesdropper will induce some statistical patterns that we can recognize. Um, so this notion of eavesdropper detection is, um, you know, is, is something that is unique to the quantum solutions and something that PQC can never provide. But you know, the point is that these three solutions are, are good at some things and lacking in other respects, um, but it's a fair comparison. Um, so let, let's talk about it. Okay, so I pose that, you know, the uh, the best kind of quantum safe uh, approach and future proof approach is to actually combine the best of, of these three worlds here. Um, and so I conjecture that let, let's make this uh, quantum safe fruit salad, if you will. Um, okay, so what, what does this fruit salad give us? Um, well, it gives us this layered kind of defense in depth um, where, you know, any adversary or attacker on the network would have to break multiple protocols and, and crypto uh, systems in order to you know, gain access to the cryptographic key or, or decrypt your data on the network. Um, so, you know, the more crypto systems you have layered into um, to one crypto system, you can uh, you can mitigate more attacks. Um, this fruit salad is uh, nutritionally diverse, if you will. So um, the, the notions of security rely not only on just math or not only just physics, but rather both of them. Um, this Crypto system would also be multi-use, right? We don't want this to be, um, you know, good for just symmetric cryptographic keys. We want, um, you know, uh, digital signatures. We want certificates. We want, um, you know, key and key routing, uh, but also to support, you know, other applications beyond cybersecurity. And so I'll, I'll get into those other applications in a bit. And this notion of um, cryptographic agility is is really important as well. Um, and so, you know, if you can, you know, uh, shake the salad, if you will, you can change the the profile of your crypto system and um, 
in terms of you know which um, which algorithm cryptographic algorithms you want to use and which attacks you want to protect from. Um, so this notion of, of agility is is really important too.